Hey, hey, it's free and welcome to this month's video blog episode of The Soul Growth. As always, thank you for tuning in. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that it is already October. Where has this month, this year, and this time gone? Speaking of time, this month's topic is about being present, being in the now, being mindful. Recently, I started reading this book by Eckhart Tolle called The Power of Now. Really great book. In this book, he focuses on helping people understand we are not in the present moment, yet all we can live is the present moment. There is no other moment that you can live other than right now. You can't go back and relive the past. You can in your mind, but you're not actually going through the sensations and all this stuff. You can't relive the, the past. You can't go and jump ahead and live in the future. That's yet to come. Yet, we tend, tend to keep our mind in those places and are not focusing on the right now. So, how do you know if you are not being present, mindful, and in the right now? You're a multitasker. Super multitasker. As a bartender, trust me, I know a whole different level of multitasking. You worry a lot. You don't know where the sensations and the feelings and the emotions that you're feeling that are going on in your body. You're not even aware of them. I remember one time I was going through a whole lot. My mom says... You know, sounds like you're depressed. And I was like, oh, that makes perfect sense. I hadn't even thought about it. I wasn't even aware of how my body was, how I was feeling down and how I was doing all this. I didn't even put it all together. But what happens is that's the kind of thing that happens when you're not present and you're not paying attention. You're always in a rush. And we live in a society where we are constantly, constantly, constantly in a rush. So that means just about everybody. You're constantly exhausted because you're overextending yourself. You're on autopilot. And when I say autopilot, have you ever just gone up a flight of stairs and didn't even think about what you were doing or how you got to the top or where you were really going? You just ended up there. That is what I mean when I say autopilot. Driving to work and you don't even notice that you just got got to work. You didn't even think about it because your mind was in so many other places. You weren't present in what was going on. Missing what people say. You're having a conversation with someone and they say something important or you're watching TV and they say something important. But because your mind ran off and wandered, then it, you missed something that was said. You don't notice your surroundings. These are all things that are actually that show you that you're not present and in the moment. So now that you know that you're probably not often present in the moment, let me tell you some of the benefits of being in the moment because there are many and all of them include increase and improve your well-being and have the benefit of also increasing and improving your relationships physical health is directly affected by your stress anxiety and worry they appear in your body oftentimes by headaches tension in your muscles high blood pressure for some people, cardiovascular issues, digestion issues, and even endocrine issues. Because what stress does is it triggers our endocrine system to be in a constant fight or flight mode, which in turn means that adrenaline is pumping in us often. And this is why a lot of, this, a lot of our society has adrenal fatigue, which is not something I really want to go too deep into. But trust me, a lot of us actually have adrenal fatigue and don't even realize it. Being present improves your mental health if you're depressed you have OCD these things can actually shift when you start to have a, a present a present mindset about yourself you can have better memory and better retention more confidence break bad habits because you are present and aware and, and noticing things when you are in the right now Peace of mind almost always comes with the right now. When you accept that all you can do is what is what you need to do right now, then you can't worry about what you did before or what you need to do in the future because you are focused on what you are doing right now. You have more enjoyable moments. If you are present when you're eating your food and not just talking and thinking about a million different things, you get to enjoy the taste. Oh, how all the spices come together, the smells, the sensations, how it feels on your tongue, the texture, the temperature. You get to notice all these things when you start to become present in the moment. You become more focused in life. You're more driven. You have a clearer vision, more creativity, and even smarter. Like These are really good things 
that can come into your life that most of us are lacking in some way, shape, or form. Not completely lacking, but definitely don't have as much as we probably desire. All because we are not present in the now. So now that you know what it is when you're not in the now and the benefits of being in the now, let's talk about how you can be in the now. Big thing, deep breaths. If you find yourself anxious, frustrated, or or just worrying and wondering about a lot of different things, stop and just take a few deep breaths. Oxygen, breath, that is your life. That is your life force. That is how God connects with you. Think about it. Your brain can't function without oxygen. Your body needs oxygen, period. Your heart Without enough oxygen, you're going to have problems. You die if you do not have oxygen. This is absolutely a necessity. And so the more you increase the air, take a deep breath, feel how it just fills up your lungs and just just be present in that sensation. It centers you. It grounds you. It gets you back in this moment. B, take a moment to be aware of your body sensations. How do those shoes feel on your feet right now? How does that ring filling your finger how those earrings feel dangling take a moment to just become aware of the body sensations that you have going on observe sights and colors or anything in your environment there's a picture over there that has an amazing sunset that you never paid it much attention it was just a sunset whatever look out the window you get to see the clouds just become aware of your surroundings What does a mouse feel like in your hand when you're at work? What do the earphones feel like in your ears? That is how you can become present and in the moment. When you're doing something that's just monotonous, that you do every day. A really great example that Eckhart gave in the book, washing your hands. When you're washing your hands, you're not thinking about anything. I remember when I was in basic military training, they told us to sing the Air Force song. And they told us to sing the Air Force song so we knew exactly how long... um, We needed to be washing our hands, but the fact of the matter is we weren't thinking about it. However, if you really think about it, what does the water temperature feel like on your hands? How does the soap smell? How does it feel against your skin? Be present. Just think about what it is that you're doing rather than just doing it. Focus on the action and not the result. In this particular example what you're doing is you have this really big project and you're thinking about okay I need to do this 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 and this and I got to do all of these things and I got to do this this way and um, you're thinking about the results you're thinking about how to make sure the project is functioning properly but you know what take a moment and just focus on the task that you're doing and then just focus on doing it right and when you're paying attention and you're focusing you're going to do it much better stop this is actually an acronym stop Take a breath, observe the emotions, feelings, thoughts that you're going through right now, and then proceed. Just take a moment, pause, okay? Choose mindful, a mindful cue. For example, this watch or a string on your wrist. Who cares? Ultimately, whatever it is, if you have something that reminds you to be mindful, it, ge- it gives your mind a break, pause, So that you can remember to be aware of what you're doing, thinking, and feeling. Focus on listening to something. Listen to the conversation that you're in right now. For example, you're talking to your friend, they're talking to you, and they're just telling you all these wonderful things, and your mind is off in la-la land. You're not paying attention to anything they're saying. Focus on what they're saying. Or if you're just at work and you're minding your business, you know what? Take a moment to to, to, to hone in with your ears on something that you didn't even realize was there. It might be the whirring of the fan. It might be, be the ticking of the talk. It might be a conversation that's being held down the hall. Just take a moment to just focus. Hone in on something and just really listen and pay attention to it for a moment. Decrease multitasking. I know I keep mentioning multitasking, but stop multitasking. Slow down. You are much more effective at anything that it is that you do if you try to do just one at a time. And I know we live in a world where we're trying to get everything done effectively, but take your time in trying to do some of the things that you're doing. At least one or two tasks in the day. Stop resistance. Everybody hates traffic. 
I know I do, right? So then when we get in traffic, you're mad. Hard, stupid traffic. Well, you know what? Accept it. I'm in traffic. Can't do anything about it because you can't. You can't fix it. Can't change it. You know what? Accept it and take it as a blessing. You know what? This gives me a moment to really enjoy the beautiful sunset that I'm seeing right now or sunrise, right? Or hmm, just gives me a moment to really become mindful. Follow your Follow your goals, but don't get attached to the outcome. Yes, you want to graduate school, but you know what? It's okay. Things happen. Life changes. Your goals can even change. Just focus on what it is that you're doing right now, and that kind of goes back to what I said about focus on the action. Try to notice the energy in the room. Try to notice the energy of the people around you. Energy is always around us have you ever walked in a room and tension is so thick you can cut it with a knife you know how people say that that is real so you know what take a moment take a deep breath and just try to feel what it feels like try to feel what that person next to you was feeling and thinking just be aware and be present i know that i've gone over this is a little bit of a long video i had so much information that i wanted to share and i hope that you could find this to be very helpful and beneficial i know that after reading the book by eckhart the power of now i just was i saw word the world from a different perspective and this isn't something that you can change in a day and instantly i get it but you know what with daily practice and actual effort you'd be surprised how much peace comes into your life how much happiness we live our lives focusing on, I'm going to be happy one day. We live our lives thinking someday it's going to be this instead of actually just being present and saying, you know what? Today is someday. Today is someday. So why not start now? I thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope that you have a wonderful month ahead. I look forward to connecting with you. Please share with me helpful, you know, your experience. What happened? What did you see? What did you do when you tried some of these things? I would love to hear some feedback on what your experience was, what, what, how it helped you, how it benefited you, how it may not have been the greatest, let me know. Don't hesitate to reach out, but definitely put something in the comments. I always love those. I hope you have a wonderful one. Thank you for tuning in and be blessed.